Advertising in today's world is the necessity. Without ads, many businesses would not exist. Most of the popular websites that depend on advertising as a revenue stream would simply vanish if they could no longer display ads. While most people view advertising as a necessary evil, the true villains are the ad trackers and cookies. They're not just a threat to your privacy, they can also double the load times of web pages. To help people out with these issues, Mozilla introduced a new anti-tracking feature with Firefox 63 called Tracking Protection. When they released Firefox 65, they changed the name to Content Blocking and made numerous improvements, including redesigning this feature. For content blocking, Firefox has teamed up with the popular privacy company Disconnect. With this partnership, when you're browsing the internet, Firefox can block a list of known trackers. On the Disconnect website, you can find out which trackers they block and trackers they don't block, along with explanations as to why they choose to block some and not others. With the background stuff out of the way, I'll now show you step-by-step -step how to enable content blocking in Firefox. To ensure that you're running the latest version of Firefox, go to the menu bar. If it's not visible, hit the Alt key on your keyboard, go to Help, and select About Firefox. You should be running Firefox 65 or newer. If you're not, update it and close out the window. To find the content blocking settings, open the menu in the upper right and select Content Blocking. Most of these settings will only work in private browsing mode. If you're new to Firefox, you can open a private browsing session by going back to the menu in the upper right and selecting New Private Window. In addition to content blocking, Firefox will not save cookies, searches, visited web pages, and temporary files. Back on the Settings page, you have three options to choose from, Standard, Strict, and Custom. Standard is the default. It will only block known trackers while you're in private browsing. Third-party cookies are not blocked at all using Standard. Using Strict will block all trackers and third-party cookies in private and regular sessions. Using strict mode may cause web pages to load improperly, or in some cases, not load at all. You can disable blocking on the sites you trust. I'll show you how to turn off blocking for individual sites later on. If you set content blocking to custom, it gives you even more control. You have the choice to enable blocking for either trackers or cookies, or both. For trackers, Selecting the drop-down menu, you can set it to block trackers in private windows only or in all windows. Selecting the drop-down for cookies gives you the choice of only blocking third-party trackers, cookies from unvisited websites, all third-party cookies, or all cookies. I recommend not selecting all cookies. It will give you a miserable browsing experience. Choose one of the other three instead. Just below trackers, selecting change block list, lets you choose between a basic and strict list for protection. Try experimenting with both lists to find out which one works best for you. If you switch lists here, make sure to click on Save Changes. Below the three choices, you can have Firefox send a do not track signal to the websites you visit. I really don't know how useful this is. I doubt websites are paying attention to this at all. In case they are paying attention, select Always. I'll use this web page for this old dinosaur of a company as an example. They seem to be fixated on writing negative articles about YouTube. This is what their web page looks like with content blocking turned off. And this is what that same web page in private browsing using standard content blocking looks like. To view what is being blocked, select the shield icon in the address bar. Using standard mode, it's currently blocking several trackers. If you're having trouble loading any website and you trust them, click on Turn Off Blocking Temporarily. Thanks for watching. You can check out one of our other videos right here. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up, share with others, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the newest videos coming soon here on Tech Gumbo.